गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू माय टॉपिक इज टुडे इज दी अवर लास्ट सेशन विल बी ऑन दी व्हाट इज दी टू वॉट मीटर थ्रीडिंग एंड व्हाट इज दी टोटल पावर ऑफ दी ऑफ दी वोल्टेज ऑफ द टू वॉट मीटर टुडे टॉपिक इज इफेक्ट ऑफ द लोड फैक्टर ऑन ऑन दी टू वॉट मीटर रीडिंग्स ओके सो इफेक्ट ऑफ दी टू वॉट मीटर लोड फैक्टर ऑफ दी टू वॉट मीटर रीडिंग फर्स्ट एज दी लास्ट सेशन वी नो वॉट इज दी डब्ल्यू वन what is the w1 w1 means first watt meter reading vl into il into cos 30 degree minus 5 using the phasor diagram in the last section we know and into w2 it's vl into il into cos 30 plus 5 so in this we have to in this equation we seen what is the w1 entry what is the w2 reading of the both of the readings of the two meters will be depend on the cos 30 minus 5 and cos 30 plus 5 so it depend on the power factor so this call as the power factor so to both uh, watt meter reading will be depend on the power factor so today session will be the effect of the load I mean power factor on the two watts meter reading we have to means derive the different different case what is the power factor first first case power factor is a unity unity means we have to cos phi means is equal to 1 so phi is equal to cos inverse 1 so we can see then phi is equal to 0 so this value will be put on the two reading w1 is equal to vl into ir into cos 30 minus 5 and second reading w2 is equal to vl into ir cos 30 plus 5 we put our cos power factor will be the unit so we put phi is equal to 0 so w1 is equal to vl into il cos 30 okay so at be same w2 is equal to vl into il cos 30 so you can see that w1 is equal to w2 so in the conclusion of when the power factor will be the unity then both watt meter readings both watt meter readings is equal and also you can tell it is the positive okay because of this power factor w1 is equal to w Our next, it's a power factor. Our second case. Our second case. What is the power factor? If power factor is zero point five. Okay. So power factor is the zero point five. So in this case, cos five. Is equal to zero point five. So phi is equal to cos inverse zero point five. So the angle will be the sixty. So we can see that on the W one is equal to V L into I L cos means thirty plus sixty. Okay. So in this W two V L into I L. Is equal to cos 
90 so u equal to the 0 into w2 the vl into il cos 30 minus 60 so in the cos as the vl into il so cos it equal to the 30 so we can see that w2 is equal to vl into il cos 30 so you can measure that or the conclusion in that the entire power it will be the zero so the entire power it will be measured measured by the only one watt meter only one watt meter then it's called it's a w2 so you can we uh, means we have to second case then we have to third case so the power factor is less than 0 0.5 but power factor is less than 0 0.5 but greater than but greater than the zero so in this case we have to cos phi is greater than zero and another case also in the same it's less than 0 0.5 will be the third case so what is the our phi phi will be between two 60 and 90 okay so in the power factor it will be 60 to 90 because our third case is the power factor is less than 0 0.5 but greater than 0 so cos 5 is equal to greater than 0 but and cos 5 is less than 0 0.5 so we can call this phi it's between the 60 to 30 so first v case it will do w2 is equal to vl into il then the cos 30 minus 5 so w2 we can call this is the first we call as a 60 so in the 60 then we get the cos 30 minus 60 the cos 30 means it's called mean be positive value otherwise we we put as a maximum value 30 minus 90 means minus 60 so it always will be on the plus scale so we can call this always we get as a positive value okay we can check for the what is the in the maximum value and what is the into minimum value so always value between the maximum to minimum first we put as a minimum 60 30 minus 60 so we get the positive value in the we put as a 90 so we get as a positive value but into w1 in the case of the w1 so always w1 so is equal to vl into il cos 30 plus 5 okay so it will be always the cos 90 because if we put into the first weight if we will be 60 so we get as a 30 plus 60 okay so we caught as a means 90 degree then we put as a 60 we put as the maximum 90 so we call as a 120 degree so it is always greater than to the cos 90 degree so it will be the we call as a 120 degree means we have to the 90 so it always it will be into the negative scale so into third case we compare into w2 and the w1 w2 means we get as a positive value and into case of the w1 we get as the negative scale so this is the power factor so we call as the total power is equal to 
W2 minus W1 because on to first we get as a W2 will be the positive and W1 will be the negative in the case of the W in the case of the power factor is less than 0.5 but always greater than 0 so in two case cos 5 is greater than 0 cos 5 less than 0.5 this is a very important in the solve the example and draw the phasor diagram so everyone means have to remember in for the third case first case and the second case that what is the last case in the power factor means is like 0 so cos phi means is equal to 0 to phi is equal to 90 degree so first case we have to w2 to vl into il cos 30 minus phi we can call vl into il cos 30 minus 90 degree so vl into il cos 60 okay in this case we have called as the phi will be the 90 because power factor we call as the 0 okay so we can get as a positive value but into w1 we have to vl into il cos 30 plus phi so our phi will be the vl into il cos 120 degree so we can call as the this is the vl into il same value of the cos 60 when we have to the cos 120 okay it will be the same value of the negative and the cos 60 which according to our cos n and sine into v into 12 standard we know about the so in this state we have to the conclusion like w2 is equal to minus w1 so the conclusion into four case so the reading of the both watt meter is same but into the but in opposite sign okay so we can call as the w2 is equal to w1 but we can call it is the negative sign so we have to the four case so if we can conclude in all the means effect of the power factor like first we call as the power factor means 0 and then do 60 then do 60 to 5 then the 90 then here it will be the 90 so we can call it is like as a table first we can draw cos 5 is equal to cos 5 then with reading on the w2 then the w1 then the remarks what is the the very most important in this case and what is the last uh, it's a total power so you can draw and what is the conclusion of the four case first v case is the uh, cos phi it's phi is equal to one so in this 6.60 then the cos phi is equal to zero then third case 0 0.5 well, okay greater than 0 0.5 then cos 90 is equal to zero then we get the w2 is equal to positive okay then also in this case we get as the positive this table will conclude the all the case and it is the table is very much important into we calculate the sum so this table is uh, very much important for us so it is the in the case we have to remember this table and the conclusion of the four case then we get as a w2 in all the case we get as a negative positive because w2 is equal to 30 minus 5 in the case we have to first case then the same reading but have to w1 is equal to positive into cos 60 we get the value is equal to 0 
into 60 to 90 degree we get the value of the negative in the reading of the w1 so in case case w1 is equal to w2 so in this case the total power or remarks w1 is equal to 0 in the case we have to no in this case we have to w2 minus w1 in this case we don't any remarks because our power factor between greater than 2 0 but less than 0 0.5 so angle between 60 to 90 so what is the what is the total power in all the case first we have to the total power then the power factor is 0 then w1 is equal to w2 then the it will be the summation of the two readings of the power in the case we have to w1 is equal to 0 so we get the value of the w2 and into 60 to 5 is equal to 19 so we get the means positive w1 is equal to negative so total power is equal to w2 minus w1 in this case w2 we get as a positive and w1 is equal to negative because it's always greater than to cos 90 and in this case the w2 and the w1 is equal to have to same reading so the total power w1 plus w2 is equal to 0 so this is the conclusion of the four um, conclusion of the for the case in this what is the total power so in this all the example you can means we have to remember this is the what is the case and what is the reading of the tower so always remember of the four case and always remember of the angle what is the angle and the what is the effect of the load of the power factor into the 2 watts meter reading